Welcome to Psychology to Daf. We are in Gemara Yoma, Daf Ayan. And today we're going to talk about what exactly did the Kohen Gadol celebrate when he emerged safely from the Kodesh HaKadoshim, from the Holy of Holies. The Gemara Noah Aleph reports from the Mishnah that the Kohen Gadol would make a, a feast and a Yom Tov for his loved ones and his friends when he emerged safely from the Kodesh HaKadoshim. We have to ask ourselves, what was this feast and Yom Tov all about? Was he truly and simply happy to have emerged safely? If we were to accept that, why is it worthy enough for the mission to mention it? We know already that there's a standing principle that one offers thanks when emerging safely from a dangerous situation. See the Gemara and Brachus on Daf Nun Davodom and Beis, it states the four basic dangers, such as being physically ill or traveling through the wilderness or uh, traveling on the sea. That, that one must give thanks after emerging safely. And you might argue, perhaps, we're obligated only to those four, but the Shulchan Aruch and uh, uh Simon Reish Yud Tes, Sif Tes, based on Rivash, says that any dangerous event that is uh, supernatural requires thanksgiving, although possibly without a full bracha, uh, using Hashem's name, see Sif Tes over there in various poskin. So we might argue that this mission approves that other life-threatening situations obligate thanksgiving. Or, we might say, since the Mishnah only mentions a celebratory feast and not a blessing, to the contrary, it proves the point that no blessing is incumbent. Ultimately, though, I would say that this Mishnah cannot be proved to either position because this is a danger brought about by a non-physical agency, which I suppose is the real Kiddush here, that one can and ought celebrate emerging from a spiritual danger, the applications may not be practical, as how many of us can claim that we were in a situation caused by non-physical entities? Would there be Akiva, who was the only one to enter the Pardes and emerged unscathed, as we see in the Gemara Chagiga, Yedalot and Beis, and Tesfav and Ralef? Would he be offered, would he be obligated to make a Thanksgiving feast or a blessing? So it would seem. Now the Sod Yisharim on Yom Kippur, uh, Item number 47 has a very interesting take on exactly what this celebration was about. The Radzina Rebbe quotes a Rishalmi that makes it play on words. The, the Pasuk says, adam lo el kodesh. Literally, no man shall be in the tent of meeting when the Kohen Gadol enters into the holy place. That's in Vayikra, Tes uh, Zion, Pasuk Yed Zion. So the Gemara Yerushalmi asks, Kol Adam, no man, is Kohen Gadol also not a man? Indeed, the Kohen Gadol, at that time, the Gemara Yerushalmi says, must really be an angel. And so, truly, no man was in the Kodesh HaKadoshim. The Razinur explains that the verse means to say that nothing, no remnant of humanity, nothing human, can be inside the Kohen Gadol when he enters into the Kodesh HaKadoshim. He has to have a complete divestment of his human and physical concerns. This concept also explains another phrase used in the Mishnah, uh, where it says, We also say this in Yom Kippur Davening, so people are familiar with that phrase. When the Kohen and the people standing in the courtyard heard the ineffable name as it emanated from the Kohen Gadol's mouth, then Rizal explains that it doesn't, say, doesn't state when they heard the Kohen Gadol say the ineffable name. Rather, it says the ineffable name emanated. That means the, Shek the Shekhinah spoke from the, from the throat of the Kohen Gadol without his conscious control. Once again, the Kohen Gadol was in a completely different state. So the idea of all this being that the Kohen Gadol entered and emerged from the Holy of Holies, celebrated that he achieved a supernatural state during this encounter. His return to his loved ones was not merely escaping death in a sense that he could have been annihilated if he was not on the proper level, but it was also about his landing and returning safely to earth.